Revelation 2349, from the 27th of May 1942. Transmission of Thoughts Effect of the Beings of Light The God-opposing forces influence the thinking of people who live their lives without God, who neither recognize God nor are lovingly active of their own accord, who neither seek God nor have the desire for spiritual knowledge, thus only belong to earth, that is are filled with purely material thoughts, they are also thought of according to their desire, they are seized by forces which are likewise distant from God, and their thoughts are directed such that they deviate ever further from God and cause the human being to increase his lack of love as well as his desire for earthly goods. This is understandable since God's adversary strives to gain the spiritual for himself and only succeeds if the human being strives for the same, that is, matter which still harbors things distant from God. Hence these people's thought material will exclusively be of earthly content, for as soon as something else is brought to them the bad spiritual forces are particularly active by trying to present to them the earthly uselessness. God's opposing power can precisely have a successful effect on this person's world of thoughts in so far as he likes to concern himself with what belongs to the world because he mostly strives for earthly goals. And the earthly goals are always opposed to the one great goal set for the human being's earthly life. The approach to God. For this demands the subordination of everything that is earthly desirable but God's adversary seeks to place all these things in the foreground, he seeks to awaken the human being's desire for them and to influence him to only strive for these earthly goods. Such people's mental activity will then only apply to these goods, and then the opposing force will have won the game. They do not ask spiritual questions and every attempt of good spiritual power or knowing people fails, because their will subordinates itself to the will of the opposing power. The more materially minded humanity is, the greater influence that power has, which is evident from the fact that wrong thinking and wrong will is far more prevalent, for therefore the majority is earthly minded and only few people strive spiritually. Consequently, higher development can no longer be recorded. A total spiritual standstill will occur, the consequence of which will be a decline in spiritual development as soon as humanity is not yet guided to realization. Humanity has to be introduced to the concept of God. It has to be forced into a situation where it considers the possibility of God's existence and where it learns to regard earthly goods as impermanent and then a struggle will begin again between the good as well as the bad forces which mentally guide the human being onto the right path, that is to lead it to realization, and the human being's will is decisive. If he turns back to earthly goods and what the world offers him, he has once again given himself over to the mental influences of the God-opposing forces and recognizes their dominion. Then his thinking is still wrong. It corresponds to the adversary's will of God and increases the distance from the one who is to be striven for by the human being during the time of his earthly life. And then God's adversary will have won the victory and won back the souls which had already escaped his influence and power through the endless long course on earth. And the being's last embodiment as a human being did not result in progress but brought it renewed captivity throughout eternity. Amen.